Hey, it's Randy from Funeral Funds of America. In this video, I'm going to share with you the actual pricing for $20,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance, or funeral funds for a 73-year-old female. Now, first thing I recommend is go directly to our website at funeralfunds.com, and we've got these free quarters on just about every page. And all you need to do is just select the state that you live in. We are licensed in all 50 states, by the way. And then select the coverage amount, put your birthday in there, the rest of the info, click Get Quotes Now. It will take you to a page that's going to show you all the best insurance companies that have all the lowest pricings you can possibly qualify for. You can also call us at our toll-free number, 888-862-9456. And one of our licensed agents can help you get the pricing or help you with any other questions you may have. Now, the first thing we recommend for a 73-year-old female looking for $20,000 worth of insurance is just asking herself, is that going to be enough coverage for her final expense needs? Now, typically that would fall under either cremation or burial. Let's kind of look at them in that order. So the average cost of a cremation in the United States right now is between one to $2,000. That's if you come home in a cardboard box or an urn. Now, if you are going to have some sort of a ceremony with your cremation, like a celebration of life or a remembrance ceremony, something like that, that's probably going to cost around 3500 to 4500 including the cremation. So you might be asking, well, how much coverage do you guys recommend? So yeah, for that, that cremation where you come home in a cardboard box or an urn, we would typically recommend around $5,000 to $7,000. Now, you might be saying, well, Randy, you said the cremation might be $2,000. Why are we recommending $5,000 worth of insurance? Well, the reason is it's a 73-year-old female. She probably wants to make it to age 83, maybe even older. And we know that things go up in price over time due to inflation. So we just build a little extra coverage in there to lock in the lowest rates so that you know our 73-year-old female doesn't have to revisit this again in the future. What it So what it does is it does two things. It inflation proofs the plan in the future, but also, God forbid, you died sooner than you thought. Then it provides some extra funds, you know, at the beginning towards the front of the policy, you know, to pay, maybe pay for some things that you hadn't expected. You just thought you'd live long enough to pay them off, like maybe some medical bills or credit card bills or something like that. So it works really great, protects long-term and short-term. If you're going to have that cremation with the ceremony, we typically recommend probably getting around $7,000 to $10,000 worth of coverage. Again, inflation-proofing the plan, but providing a little bit more upfront coverage just in case there's some other expenses. It works out terrific. And then if you're going to be buried, the average cost of a burial right now in the United States is roughly $10,000. It's you know hard to imagine there's many funeral homes in the United States that if you walked in with a $10,000 check, they wouldn't make something work out. Now, granted, it may not be fancy, but they should make it work it out. It's it's hard to imagine they would say no and let you walk down the street and, you know, walk walk two blocks down to their competitors and give them the money. Eh. Just understand, though, that a $10,000 policy is not inflation proof. So, you know, by the time our, our 73-year-old gets up to 83, that wouldn't be enough money. So typically, our, our 73-year-old female would be looking at somewhere between ten dollars to $15,000 worth of coverage. And again, if money's tight, just get the $10,000. That get, kind of takes care of the most immediate needs right now. You, we can always help you add more coverage. But some people might have a little bit better financial situation, maybe afford $20,000 or so. So regardless, we can help you work out with whatever your budget is. And again, we can always come in and add more coverage. Now, sometimes people will say, Hey, I want to get thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars to leave some money behind for my kids, and you know, at age seventy-three, fifty thousand can kind of be expensive. And then they see the pricing and they go, "Well, I'm not going to do anything at all. I'm not going to do anything now that I see that pricing." And it's really, it's it's a terrible situation for their kids because it's a seventy-three-year-old that procrastinated until age seventy-three, and now they're saying, "If I can't get everything I want, I'm not going to do anything." which just means the kids or the family members are going to have to pay for this. They're going to have to put it on credit cards, typically at 26% interest. So we have to kind of remind people in a general way, don't, don't be so selfish on this. This isn't about you. This is really about protecting your family and loved ones. You know, we actually recommend getting this insurance specifically for your final expense needs. And then if you want to get a separate policy later for your children, we can help you add that extra policy later but you at least want to make sure that your final expense needs are taken care of.
Now, one thing we always recommend is getting first day coverage or benefits. We do not recommend those two year waiting period plans at all. I'll get into that in just a moment. But yeah, what first day coverage means is that hypothetically, if your plan were issued and approved today and you passed away tomorrow, the insurance company would have to write out that check for 15, 20, 25,000, whatever it was. It's the best coverage. It's also got the lowest pricing. But some people would say, hey, you're right, Randy, I do want that first day coverage, but I'm a little bit concerned because I've got some health health issues. And I know those first day coverage plans ask health questions to which we say, hey, you know, that's, um, you know, that's that's actually what we help people out with. So sometimes people say, hey, you know, I, I, I want that first day coverage, Randy, but, you know, I, I I hear they ask health questions and I'm not in the best of health. And we we let them know that that's our concern, not your concern. Uh, at least from an insurance standpoint, what that means is we work with enough different insurance companies. They they all have different health questions. They all have different underwriting requirements. And really, 90, 95% of the time, we're able to get people first day coverage or benefits. Really, the only reason we wouldn't would be if somebody waited way too long and, you know, maybe they'd been diagnosed with a terminal illness and had less than 12 months to live or they had dementia or they're, they're on dialysis or in a hospital or a nursing home, something like that. If that were the case, we would typically refer out to a different insurance company. The other thing that seems to happen every week, it seems, is somebody will call up and say, hey, we had a family member pass away this last week. They didn't have insurance. We don't have the money. The body's down at the funeral home. Now the funeral director's not going to do anything until he gets a check in his hand. So we actually need to get this insurance right away so we can get paid by the insurance company to get a check to the funeral home director. We have to let them know that there's no insurance company in the United States that's going to issue and approve a policy on a dead person. It doesn't work out that way. And it's so sad that this person who passed away didn't have this insurance. And now this burden's going to fall on their family and loved ones who are probably going to have to put it on their credit card and pay 26% interest for years and years to get this thing paid off just because somebody didn't get this insurance. And they knew they were going to die someday. They probably thought about getting in this insurance. They just didn't do it. So don't be that person. What a what a terrible legacy to leave behind. You could have done everything else in right in life. And then you you just sock your most loved ones with a big, huge bill after you pass away. Don't be that person. Don't have that legacy. You know, this this insurance is affordable. If you need to, we can help you start small. Could always add more coverage later. So uh, let's let's talk about those two-year waiting period plans here. Yeah, we we don't recommend the two-year waiting period plans. Uh, Colonial Pen, they're a fairly well-known company out there. I think just because they advertise on the TV. I, that 90, 995 commercial seems like it's on every seven minutes. But yeah, that 995 plan, if you didn't know that, that's a two-year waiting period, right? <laughs> Ouch, right? Yikes. Yeah, you don't want that if you can qualify for first-day coverage for sure. But Colonial Pen's not the only two-year waiting period company. There's other companies out there, too, like Mutual of All, Omaha, their United Omaha line, AIG, Gerber. Gosh, there's just so many different insurance companies that the only thing they offer is two-year waiting periods. And, uh, you know, some of these companies have done an amazing job of convincing the American public that if they're over age 50, the only thing they're going to qualify for is a plan with a two-year waiting period, to which we always say, ha, 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 ha. Don't believe such nonsense because we help people with first day coverage all day long. Now, our 73-year-old female here probably just got done watching one of those Colonial Pen commercials. And she's probably thinking, you know, hey, I, I kind of I kind of snuck one by them. I'm 73. Now I'm going to get my 995 insurance and I'm probably going to get 20000 30000 40000 maybe even $50,000 and then she talks with the Colonial Pen agent or goes online and checks them out on her website like we've done here and finds out that for nine, one unit of coverage, $9.95, it's only going to pay out $846. Now, that's not even enough for a cremation anywhere in the United States that we know of. And even if it was enough for a cremation, it's got a two-year waiting period. And in two years, it's not going to be worth the same amount of money because it's inflation. It's going to increase the price on things. So why would you ever start with a, a substandard plan that's not going to do what you needed to do? Now, there's some people out there that would say that the companies that offer these, these low teaser rates, you know, 
they they do that just to get your information and get you into their marketing funnel and then they call you up and the real goal is to sell you a more expensive product that's more profitable to them and you know i guess i guess we would never say anything like that about colonial pen but some people would i guess and i guess you'll have to determine on your own whether you you think that's happening with this 995 cuz it's only paying $846. So yeah, we don't we recommend you get first day coverage. It'll be better pricing. I'll show you that in a moment. The challenge we're going to run into here looking at $20,000 is Colonial Pen only offers up to 15 units. So that would be they're only going to the max you can get it for a 73-year-old female is 12,690 and that's going to be 150 bucks. You can't even get 20,000 through them. So, yeah, that's a big downside, but let's see what 20,000 would cost with first day coverage. So, we've got 20,000 here female, age 73, get quotes now. Again, let's go back and look at this. 12,000 roughly for 150. Oh, I want to show you this here. I want to make sure that you believe me. This is 20,000 here. We can get that for a hundred, basically $122. So 20,000 for a hundred. Would you rather have that? Would you rather have $20,000 for 122? Or would you rather have 12,690 for 150? Crazy, right? Yeah, just got to be a smart shopper. I mean, this is, this is like $30 less and you get 20,000 instead of 12,000, almost an extra 8,000, right? So just, yeah, $30. Let's do the math on that. I mean, it's $30 a month, roughly. So times 12 months, that's $360 a year you'll overpay. If our 73-year-old female makes it to age 83, she will have overpaid roughly $3,600. Now, we recommend you keep that money in your bank account. Don't give that to an insurance company to put in their bank account. You could have a lot more fun with $3,600 than sending it to an insurance company. Yeah, so just... You got to be a smart shopper and it's okay if you're not a smart shopper let us help you be a smart shopper we can help you get approved for these low rates yeah just reach out to us um just keep in mind too that you know when you overpay on colonial pen you're going to overpay for the rest of your life and you're going to get socked with that two-year waiting period let's look at a couple other companies here so let's see if there's anybody else here i like lumico okay because remember we are Roughly 122, and Limico is 148. So that's roughly around about $25 more a month times 12 months. That'd be an extra $300 a year. If our 73-year-old female lives 10 more years at age 83, you would end up overpaying roughly around $3,000 more. Why would you ever do that? Why would you ever overpay right from the very beginning, knowing that it's going to cost an extra $3,000? Just let us help you. Let us help you be a smart shopper, get you qualified for the lowest rates. Let's look at another company here, maybe. Oh, Lincoln Heritage. They're a fine company, I guess, but yikes, look at that pricing. 182. Ooh, it is level coverage, but um, yeah, 182. So yeah, the reason they're expensive is uh, they when you pass away, supposedly they will call two, three different funeral homes to like get the lowest pricing, maybe do a couple other things. But yeah, I mean, it's, you, you pay for that. It's not free. So that's 182 versus basically 122 an extra $60 a month roundabout. So you, let's do the math on that. $60 a month times 12 months is $720. And if our 73-year-old makes it to age 83, that would be, you would end up overpaying roughly $7,200 more on a 20-year policy. So you know, we, we recommend you keep that $7,000 in your bank account. Don't give that to an insurance company. And how we help you do that, um, we, we actually provide a free funeral and estate planning guide. You can download that off our website, print it out. Once it's printed out, just fill it out. Fill out who gets what and what goes where and what you want done after you're gone. And now your family, and just keep that with your insurance policy, and now your family just has to go to one place and they'll know that you not only protected them financially with the insurance policy, but also emotionally with the funeral and estate planning guide. And all they need to do is open that funeral and estate planning guide and just just read what you wrote and then just execute your wishes. And they will have that peace of mind knowing that they're doing everything exactly as you wanted and that you provided the money so there's no financial burden on them as, as well. 
And they will know that you not only love them in life, but you actually loved and protected them in death, actually at a time when they would need you more than ever. What a wonderful legacy to leave behind. So we can help you leave a legacy like that. We've got a special quota for our YouTube viewers, funeralfunds.com forward slash YouTube. You can get the lowest rates, the most discounts. You can also call us at 888-862-9456. One of our agents can get your pricing or help you out. And if you've got an existing policy and you want us to price shop and to see if we can save you money, or if you want to just add coverage to that, we can help you out with that. If you're looking for a brand new policy um, and you just want some help with that, or you have some questions, we can certainly help you out with that. But we look forward to the day where we can help you get the most amount of insurance for the least amount of money. And we, are, we will be grateful and blessed to help you with that at some point in the future. Until that day comes, you stay safe, you take care. You have a nice day. Bye-bye.